in today's video, you're going to see a GUI to gorgeous transformation with fun slow-mo action and hear a few misconceptions about nail technicians and podiatrists. So stay tuned. The motor was getting cold. If you're new here, welcome! Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. Um, but yeah, it was quite a drive. It was probably like four hours or something. Especially if you had to keep stopping. Yeah. You get a lot of like people that come from like different parts. Of the yeah, country. there's the map. Well, all those pins are from. Oh really? Yeah. You'll have, I even one from Texas. Yep. You'll have to put a pin in the map <laughs> oh, for wow. Chicago. I get lots of questions asking me what I'm using, so throughout the video I try to throw in a little introduction of the tool, but all of the tools that you see me using are sold on my online store. You can get them in a kit. You can get the pedicure kit, deluxe pedicure kit, or grand deluxe pedicure kit, but they're also sold individually if you only need a couple things. Yeah, people have problems and they're having a hard time finding somebody in their area. Yeah. Because I really, some, some people don't really want to work. And put people in their feet like that. I know. Yeah. Because I remember when I was trying to do like a nail, a nail um, class for like acrylics and everything. Mm -hmm. She said that it's, it's not good to... I've been doing nails for 26 years, mm. since Did your husband ever help you with your feet? He did once. Did he? Yeah. How did he do? <laughs> he, he did pretty good. He was trying to cut up that nail, and uh, he, he got it. He got it down and everything. <laughs> I, I remember when when um, I I said, I would always wait for him to go to the bathroom so that I could quickly pull up my pants. <laughs> You're trying to hide them. Yeah, because he, he just still looking at me like, like, you can put your pants on. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm like, I'm just waiting. And he would just be like, okay. And he would just go to the bathroom. And I would like, once he would go, I would quickly do it and put my shoes on. And then when we started living together, that's when I... Like I had to wear socks and everything, and then until one time he wanted to take out my socks, <laughs> and I'm like, no, don't take it off. And he's like, why? I'm like, just don't. You're like, it might be a deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to see it. Yeah. And then once he took it off, he's like, he's like, do you have your feet like that? I'm like, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh. I'm like, this is why I, I'm like, this is why I always wait for you whenever you went to the bathroom. Aww. <laughs> and he started laughing. He's like, he's like, you didn't have to wait for me. And you're like, I'm going to marry that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet.
so tell me in the comments who of you watching thinks that this looks like fun to do. That if you knew how to do it, that you would actually like doing this kind of work. Most of you just love to watch, but... So tell me, yes, me, I think it looks fun, or I don't think that I would do it. Did you know there are different types of nail fungus? And the type of nail fungus that is in her nail, if left too long, can actually turn the keratin from hard to really soft and gooey, which you're gonna see in a minute after I get some of the top layers of keratin that are still hard off the surface. That's another reason I don't wear gloves. If you get the glove too close, it just wraps up in the file and rips holes in it. So as the hard keratin changes, mm -hmm. see how spongy this is? Yeah. And you don't hear that clip clip sound anymore. Mm -hmm. So as you're are you you're not using the nail mycosis now? The product that's for nail fungus? No. So you're gonna get some of that when you leave today. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna put it on every morning and every night. But your toenail is as it grows out yeah. it will be fine it will start to reattach to the nail bed and stuff mm -hmm. but like all of this part when all of that is embedded and there's all the bacteria underneath the nail that's in between the skin mm -hmm. and the back of the nail it can't reattach and it just keeps accumulating and accumulating so it's best to not have it on there mm -hmm. in the first place and it will grow out better faster. Mm -hmm. See that, that the center part's the soggiest. It's really squishy. See how squishy that is? Yeah. So you've got to get all of that off of there. See how it just... We have to get it off the surface of your skin. But your foot will feel better. Oh, okay. <laughs>
bet it feels a little weird, huh? Yeah. We're gonna put that back in the water and let it soak. You can put that foot right back in the water. Just straighten all the way out. Yeah, that's really. So we've got some other products that you can get to to use at home to help get that off of your feet because the the athlete's foot product it can't soak into all of this non-living skin very easily so it can get to the root of the problem so this stuff we have up front and it dissolves dead skin and when i use the towel on your foot just to rub this off it, a lot of it will come off but you can use a foot file at home to mm -hmm. file it off too when people have athlete's feet and the fungus has gotten into their toenails, they're going to need to use three products, the nail mycosis, the athlete's right, feet, and the shoe again. and sock spray. <clears throat> So you'll rub the product, the athlete's foot, on the bottoms of your feet just like lotion. Mm -hmm. And the nail mycosis, you'll drop it on just like cuticle oil. Mm You guys have children yet? No. She's been married for six years already. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not good. Long time. Now that I want one, it's like, um, what's it called, um, we have to go check everything. Oh, fertility? Yeah. Okay. And, um, I did go, and they checked my uterus and everything, and they said that everything was fine. But he's the only one who has to go check himself. Right. Yeah. And he doesn't want to, because he thinks he's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like as soon as I told him that the doctor told me that I'm good, he's like, I know I'm gonna be very sure. <laughs> it's not. Me and my husband couldn't get pregnant, and we saw fertility specialists for a long time, and it was hormonal. That's all it was. Yeah, I think it's a lot with the, like the stress and everything. Mm -hmm. Cause like. I think a lot of people don't take that in mind, and they're like, "Oh, why do you stress? If the thing mm -hmm. is just, just trying to mm -hmm. keep you stressed." And I guess it's like my mom said, "One, God will know when the right time." Yeah. She always tells me she's like, she's like, God, God gives you.
I have two teenage sons, yes. 19 and 16. that soggy part. Your what? My <gasps> I think probably the, the my feet getting numb is probably because of jeans. Oh, your jeans are too tight. Yeah, yeah. pulled up. Yeah.
All right, you can straighten your leg all the way out. Okay, you can put that foot back in the water. Okay, I'll take that one. Let's drink, yeah. Try to rub off So when you get out of the shower, mm -hmm. you need to rub them really good to try to pull off any skin that gets soggy. Yeah, because I tried doing the, what's the, um, what's it called, the, pumice stone? No, not the Those don't work. The other one. The Just one a that, foot file? Yeah. And it kind of did help, but I think I have to do it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you have to keep your feet dry, keep your shoes clean. Looking forward to having healthier feet. Yeah. Because there's been a lot of times I've been wearing wet sandals, but I haven't been able to. Mom always keeps on telling me, you'll be going to the feet for to the video. Mm-hmm. Like, no, Mom. Or whenever she would tell me, like, like you should do this and this, I'm like, <laughs> You're like, maybe I should have listened to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a YouTube video takes you to edit. About five hours. Really? Oh yeah. From beginning to end of all of the things you have to do. Yeah. I, I was gonna do a YouTube, but I'm like, wait. And I did do videos. Supposedly, I did a video of um, like having my husband do my makeup challenge. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and we did it and everything, but and then he's like, he's like, when are you gonna put it up? I'm like, I have to edit it. And he's like, huh? he's like, how, how much work is that? And I'm like, a lot. <laughs> and I mean like. Do you know how to use the video editing software and stuff? No. 
software Yeah. There's all kinds of video editing softwares that you upload and then you can zoom in and split it and turn up the volume and zoom out and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Right, so what I need to find out is how to like to upload my video to like the computer because I tried doing it and it wouldn't let me. I don't know. What kind of a computer do you have? Is it a Mac or a PC? It's a PC. Yeah. I think I think it's a Mac. It's a lot easier to upload it because it just goes to iCloud, right? Well, once you get it to iCloud, you have to import it into a video editing software. Yeah. So you need, you know. Adobe Premiere Pro or iMovie or one of those. Mm -hmm. I want to talk for a minute about the misconceptions being shared about precluding nail technicians from working on toenails that have nail fungus and how different the rules of a podiatrist and a nail technician are. I get a lot of comments that start with, I was told that. Well, the rules are what matter and not what someone told you. So one, there is no rule that says people with a nail fungus can't get a pedicure. There is no rule that says a nail technician can't work on nails that have a nail fungus. There is just a lack of education to give nail technicians the confidence they need to perform the service, which I provide the education in my courses to educate nail technicians so they can help people that need it most. Nail technicians have been trained to recognize and can recommend an over-the-counter product for at-home care. We do not have a prescription pad and we do not prescribe prescription medication. Podiatrists do do testing to diagnose and tell you what kind of nail fungus you have and can write prescriptions for controlled medications as an alternative to topical products for at-home use. Nail technicians clean the toenails. Podiatrists do not clean toenails. Nail technicians can soak the feet podiatrists do not soak the feet. Nail technicians reduce thick toenails. Podiatrists can remove the entire nail. So if you want a conservative approach to restoring your nails, you're going to have some home responsibilities and topical product applications. And if you want the toenail removed, then you need to go and see a podiatrist. I was like, each one is a specific thing for something, okay? And on my first, you started out with on my like, what did you do? Oh, first you started out with my eyebrows. And he's like, he's like, okay, so I'm gonna do this. And then he, he was doing my eyebrows. And I was like, okay, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna, uh, what's it called? Line them out? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, aren't you gonna make, trying to make the, like, perfect or something? He's like, he's like, they look good. I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, if you think they look good. I'm like, if they're good, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you. And next thing he tried, he did was he did my foundation, and I was like, I was like, okay. And then he grabbed the sponge, and, and I was like, I'm gonna use the sponge. I'm like, but okay. And he tried putting in everything, and and he he did pretty good. But I saw he, there was like streaks on it, and I'm like, I'm like okay, whatever. Aww. And then he tried doing my contour, and when I when I saw him trying to do it, he he, he left me really really. <laughs> He's like, you gotta blend it, honey. Yeah, because he had just like he just patted on the on the palette, and he didn't like shake, like take off the excess or anything. Mm, mm, and, mm. and and he just went in there and I'm like. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, he's like, what? I'm like, that's a lot. I'm like, shake it or something. Cap it off, dude. Yeah. And so, like, I'm like, 
he left me really, really dark. Yeah. And I'm like, Straight now, I'm gonna try and rub some of that skin off. Like what kind of like restaurants or? Mm, I don't know, like attractions or something like. Um, I think I everything's just still closed. Yeah. We um went on vacation to Virginia Beach, and it was the same thing there. Yeah, like the museums are still closed and Did you guys go over to the mall? Firewood? Yeah. I wanted to go, but I don't know. We didn't get to go yesterday because we just went out to eat and we just went back home. Then we went to the hotel. Taxes for like the houses like expensive around here? It just depends on where you live. Uh, Ann Arbor is more expensive than Celine, and Celine is more expensive than Celine Township. Mm. You know, there's lots of different townships and stuff, and I guess it depends on the price of your house and stuff like that. He doesn't? No. He I, wants to be in the city? No, he wants to be like in little towns, but oh. he doesn't want to be like over here in like the United States. He, he'd rather be like in Mexico or something. Oh. And I'm like, I want to go over there. I want to be here. Like I've never been nowhere else. Right. Yeah. Depending on how big your house is, like if you have a 3,000 square foot house in Ann Arbor, you're probably going to pay $8,000, $10,000 a year in taxes. Mm. 
you know, around Celine, it's going to be six thousand dollars a year in taxes, and in Celine Township, four five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Just depends. Towards like Detroit. Yeah. Uh, I even went to New York one and you I still like Chicago better than New York. I I ever told my husband once about like, I'm like, how come you don't buy a house like in Arkansas or something? And he's like, why do you want to go over there? I'm like, because it's better. I'm like, it's prettier. Yeah. And he's like, why do you want to leave? I'm like, because oh. we're young, we can live anywhere. Yeah, not only that, but like, I'm like, I told him like, I'd rather be somewhere else. I don't know. I told him, like, I like to, tra I want to travel. I just want to go everywhere. Mm hmm I'm like, I see so, I'm like, I see so many shows, and I just want to live, like, one of those little towns, like, where there's, like, everyone knows everyone. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I think it's nice. Is he crazy stuff? Mm -hmm. I don't like chaos. I don't like drama. I like it nice, quiet, serene. I like to go home and sit on my porch swing. Yeah. See, I, I wish I could be like that too. Like, oh, I think, because I even told them, like, I'm, like, don't you just want to be somewhere where it's nice and quiet and you can enjoy, like, being in your house? Mm hmm. Not having, like, somewhere where they're too. No way. How do they feel? Different. <laughs> They'll fit in your shoes better. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.